I don't know what you've been told. Cook when sales men get the hole. Feels good. Feels good. Tastes good. Tastes good. Is good. Is good. Real good. Real good. Mm, good. Mm, good. Good for you. Good for you. Good for me. Good for me. Yeah. Good morning, Andrew. Always very nice to see you. Hello. Floyd, you got poopy in your teeth. Oh. And Captain Shrinky Dink, very nice of you to finally show up. Will you take those for sale signs down? We're not broke yet, are we? Where the fuck have you been, bitch? You can't just roll up in here any goddamn time you want. You know, these pallets had to be out three fucking hours ago, and you're the only control freak motherfucker who knows where they go. I don't have the paperwork, and I gotta listen to Stan chew my ass out all morning long? Poppy's here now, Daisy. It will all be taken care of, okay? Okay, fuck. you think I like trying to guess which state this shit goes to? New York, Tacoma, dick fuck Seattle, packing this shit all by myself? And I'm the one who has to answer to all of these home show blowhards, all right, who want their money for booths, for tables, for electricity, okay? And unless your pansy ass salesman over here decides to sell by candlelight and zombies? I got the candlelight part. Okay, listen to me, you little fucking reject Buzz Lightyear throwback. You might be the number one salesman out there, but when you step in here in this little circus of elephant listen. shit, no, you need to shut up. I want you to know I am the fucking yeah. ringleader in your little circus. You are a 12-step motherfucker, yeah. okay? And I'm not gonna lose my job because of some coked out, burnt out, my mother didn't let me suck her titties long enough, failed tap dancing convict. Unemployment pays better than this shit anyway. Obama! Hello, my name is Daisy. And I have been here for about seven years now. And if you wanna know what I do, that will be inclusive of everything. Let me just explain to you the reason why I must put up with everything and babysit and basically give birth to every person who works here every single day. And let me tell you, that's very difficult to do uh, is because the owner who is not present, he's somewhere. He's always somewhere like Thailand. I mean, this place has been like falling apart forever. Are you like the mother hen here? No, I, I'm nobody's mother, all right? I am not the mother hen. I'm not a hen, because that's a chicken, and I ain't no chicken. Do you enjoy working here all these years? How many years have you worked here? What did you do before you came to work at Zap 3000? I have done many things. Um, well, previously, and, you know, it's actually coming back into my life. I was developing... Um, a special particular shoe line for individuals with um, different sized legs. Uh, what is your relationship with Dick Steele? I, excuse me, you just asked me what is my relationship with Dick Steele? You're not like you're- I don't, what did he tell you? I don't understand this question. I don't have a relationship with Dick Steele. That is disgusting. What, I, did he say something to you? because I don't have a relationship with Dick Steele, all right? I can't even say his name. Like, it's like, he's like a, he's like a slug. He's like a slug who just comes in and ruins a perfectly good garden. What are you doing? This is a garden with beautiful things growing. He's like a slug in sheep's clothing, ruining a perfectly good garden. I'm going to be very careful with my words here. Very forgiving today, okay? First of all, um, the slug. He is a horrible, disgusting individual, all right? Listen, I can't even... I'm so sorry. I'm trying to be, like, you know, contained here, but it's like... Um, you know, Floyd, he's a wonderful, wonderful man. He's so sweet, but he's got problems. And I understand, you know, I really want to help him. But he gets into trouble with, you know, taking home the wrong person. Sometimes it's a child. Sometimes it's like a man who's dressed as a woman or a woman who's dressed as a man or like a dog. And you're like, you knew that was a dog, Floyd. That's not even somebody who's dressing up as somebody else. But he's got a good heart. All right? He's a good man. Andy, Andy's very cute, you know? He's, it's just, uh, you know, it's like Andy, he's got a lot of problems. Um, I don't know. You know, sometimes we just cannot let go, you know, of our shame. He has the most beautiful eyes. 
that you can see into those eyes that, you know, he's just like a little baby, you know, he's he's good. He's good, you know, but he needs like a little spanking like a baby. You know what I mean? Stop it. Just stop it. He needs to stop this. You know what I mean? He should be doing other things. He could be like in construction. You know what I mean? He could be like landscaping. You know, I just see him like in the dirt. Like, yeah, fix it. Make it really pretty. You know, is it a Puerto Rican thing, Daisy, baby? No. Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, shit. Why? Wow. Zoe. Here's the money from DC, Dick. Thank you, darkness. Take it easy. Just take it easy. Whatever you say, Dick. Stan has a daughter. Her name is... I actually don't know her real name. She says her name is Darkness. She's so pale that it's like, oh my God, you know, it's like, you know, she's so dark, but like the skin is so bright that it's like piercing, you know? And speaking of piercings, she's got piercings that are very inappropriate. I mean, they're trying to pass laws in Africa right now that say you shouldn't do this to a little girl. And she's like, I want to do it to myself, you know, like, that's just not appropriate where I come from. You want to put studs on something like, you know, old school, then you do your jeans or your jacket. You don't need to be messing around your vagina like that. You know? Thank you very much, Dave. Oh, thank you so much. Anytime, really.